Hi guys, it's Eden here from Mini Style Child and I'm here with the SBB and this week we're talking about nappies. It is reusable nappy week and we thought we would do a quick video so that we can take the confusion out of cloth nappies and hopefully maybe a few of you will think about making the swap. So I began using cloth nappies when my middle son was born back in 2017 and it's not something that I really had looked into before but uh, it was gaining popularity and I was definitely looking at ways to be more environmentally conscious and real reusable nappies was one of the ways that I realised I could do that. So what I did was get a few trial kits and fast forward to 2021 and I'm now using them with my third my third child and we are still loving cloth nappies. So one of the first things that people always kind of question when they're looking at swapping to cloth nappies is the astounding or astonishing amount of different types of nappies. It can be a little bit daunting and overwhelming but I rest assured it is really straightforward um, so we're here to take the hassle out of it. So the first type of nappy that you can try is an all-in-one nappy and I've got an example here with the Bambino Mio nappies. Um, these ones uh, velcro fastened as you can see and they also have poppers here and you can either have them um, on the lowest rise setting like so or obviously you can unpop them and basically these are birth to potty nappies and as the title might suggest they are suitable from birth until your child is or your toddler is starting to use the potty so yeah really good investment these all-in-one nappies basically have a tongue insert like this and this is the absorbent core that just tucks nicely away inside to the nappy now these are by a brand called Bambino Mio and they're extremely popular like I said they are velcro fastened I think they also have popper fastenings and it's all about preference here there's no right or wrong you know they don't really do anything fancy it's just about which ones work for you and also how to get a good fit with your child because every child's shape is very different and I have, that's something that I've learned after giving birth to my daughter because comparing the two of them and what nappies work better for them um, and how to get a good fit on the nappies is certainly different um, with different children. Anyway so that one is an all-in-one and again that one's by Bambino Mio and they do lots of fun funky prints Secondly, we have an all-in-two nappy, and here is one. This one is by Little Lamb, and again, this one is not Velcro, it's a popper fastening one. The poppers do the, the kind of waist, and also, again, it's a birther potty, so you can make them smaller, like so. Just clipping them all, I'm not gonna do them all, but you get the drift. Anyway, the difference with these ones is they don't have the tongue inside. These ones are, have like a pocket, but these are for you to fill with what in, whatever inserts suit you. You can get lots of different inserts made of different things. For example, you can get microfiber, terry toweling, bamboo and charcoal to name a few. The ones that I really like are the ones made from bamboo. Here's an example here. And um, they are really absorbent. So a lot of people opt for the bamboo inserts. And yeah, so this one is by Little Lamb and it's a lovely dusky pink color and they do lots of lovely other colors. And next up we have the two part nappies and they kind of come in three different varieties. The first one is the pocket nappy. I've got an example here by Melovia and it's got this very nice bright and colorful print on it and again this one is popper fastened this one you might notice is actually a little bit smaller because although the nappies are suitable obviously from birth to potty um, you know babies sometimes are very tiny and so many of the brands actually make um, newborn sized which just fit a little bit more snugly around tiny teeny babies so yeah this one's slightly smaller it's a pocket nappy and this one has no um, kind of no hole in to fill if that makes sense 
it's just the kind of outer shell with a little bit at the top and the bottom to tuck in whatever insert. So if I grab this one as an example, you kind of place your inserts in. You can either use one or two or three, depending on how much your child wets through the day or night. And they just fit like that. Like I said, you can stack more in if you want to. And that is the two-parter pocket nappy. Next up is the fitted nappy, and I've got an example here from uh, Tot Spots. This one is a Tot Spots, and I actually love them. These are the bamboozle stretch inside here, and then you get a wet and waterproof outer. Again, these ones are a newborn size, but they do, do a birth to potty variety. And the bamboozle stretch are really thick. Like you can see here, they are fitted. You've got this Velcro to fasten the waist and you also have extra absorbency inside. So they're really good for night times. I use these a lot with my middle son. And again, you get this lovely outer wrap. They do lots of different designs, colors. They're beautiful and they're really good for heavy wetters or for night times. And then finally, we have the folded two-parter nappy. And essentially, you get some nice material here. This one is like a lovely, kind of super thick absorbent muslin by Bambino Mio. And you can fold them in a variety of different shapes, depending on, again, how it fits to your child and your child's shape. And these, these obviously can be folded to your child's shape. You add for example, a nappy faster like this one from Little Lamb. And then they can fit around your baby like that. And then I'm not doing a very good example because I don't use these ones, <laughs> but you get my drift. And then you use a outer shell here like this one, which is from the brand Muslins. And that one just obviously provides a waterproof cover for your folded nappy so there we go that's kind of the main examples of different types of nappies here like I said you get a variety of either popper fasteners or velcro it's purely down to you your choice in how best they work for you and I definitely recommend taking advantage of the trial kits that are on offer this week um, that's kind of what I started with and then you can kind of see what works for you and what you want to invest in when you're buying more nappies which leads me on to the next point which is how many nappies do you need so for one child uh, it's advised that you kind of want between 20 and 25 nappies and you kind of wash them every two to three days What other benefits of using reusable nappies? Number one is of course the environmental impact. You're going to be reducing the amount that goes to landfill. Nappies take forever and ever to break down, uh, whereas the cloth nappies are going to be used over and over again and a lot of them are made from sustainable materials so um, much better for the environment it's also astonishing the amount of water that is needed to produce disposable nappies and even though you might think well i need to wash these nappies over and over again they are still much better in terms of washing these over the amount of water that is needed to create disposable nappies the second benefit to using reusable nappies is the financial and even though they can be a little bit daunting when you're buying kind of initial outset of 20 to 25 nappies um, it's basically down to cost per use you're using them over and over again throw in multiple children and you're looking at pennies per nappy over the two to three years that you'll be using them for so realistically they will end up saving you money, which is a huge benefit um, and far outweighs using the disposable nappies. As I said earlier, I started using nappies with my second child. If I'd known about them when I'd had my eldest son, I would have definitely used them with him. And I've also used these nappies with my niece part-time and now with my daughter. So it's safe to say that actually I've got a lot of wear out of my nappies and I'm really happy that I made the investment.
Next up is the nappy practicalities. So you will need one of these. It's a nappy bin. This one's got a lid on to hide away the smells. And they're really a great way just to tuck the nappies out in, you know, when they're ready to wash. Um, what else do I need to say about them? It is what it is. You don't need to kind of soak them or anything crazy like that. If your baby is just on milk, then your nappies can go straight into the washing machine. Um, if your baby has started weaning, then sometimes you need to scrape them or you can actually rinse them if you like. It's completely down to you. But again, it's not really a biggie. Once you get into the habit of kind of dealing with it, it's just another thing on your list to do. And um, yeah, pretty straightforward and definitely worth the financial gains and the environmental benefits of switching to cloth nappies. Finally, whilst we're on the subject of reusable items, if you've made the switch to nappies, then of course you're going to want to go for reusable wipes. And actually I have to say, a lot of mums that I speak to who might not have switched to reusable nappies use reusable wipes because they're just so much better than disposable ones. You can get them in all shapes and sizes. These ones happen to be by Bambino Mio, but they're a really decent size and they just get up much more than your standard wipes. They're great for mucky hands and fingers and yeah I think reusable wipes are an excellent thing to swap another thing is nappy bags you know we don't need any more excessive plastic so swapping to a nappy bag is a great alternative to the disposable ones and this is an example here of one from close it has got a waterproof kind of lining and a lovely vibrant print on the outside. Again, these are really handy, not just for nappies, but if you go swimming, you can chuck your wet cozies in there. If you're at the beach, um, you know, they come in for multiple uses and they're just great to take on days out. So um, yeah, nappy bag or a reusable nappy bag is definitely a reusable essential. Aside from that, we've got a wide range of CSP, so cloth sanitary pads, we've got cups, we have breast pads that are reusable, you know, as well as reusable cutlery, straws, lots and lots of other reusable items to look at. So I will leave all the links and all the information about what's been featured in the description. And please give a thumbs up if you like the video. And yeah, leave us a comment below if you've got any questions in terms of reusable items or cloth nappies. Throughout this week, we'll be discussing this in further detail in our Facebook group called Yes Baby Babble. So hopefully you can join us there. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.